This is how I edit property tours on CapCut. I first off, I shoot everything using my iPhone and I start with the exterior. So front yard, I usually do about two clips. First thing I wanna do is take down the audio all the way. And then we're gonna go into, we have a living room. We're gonna add two for this one. Same thing, take down the audio, just so that we don't have to worry about anything, in, you know, sound in the background. From there, we're gonna start with the, let's go to the kitchen. All right, grab your clips. Same thing, I have about two clips. From there, we're gonna move into the hallway. Let's grab hallway here. And then we're gonna skip the bedrooms because the whole goal here is to show the best of the best. Keep the video around 30 seconds, maybe 40 seconds long. Let me just make sure, perfect. Why? Because the whole purpose of the property tours is to entertain the person, to get them hooked, to wanna to see more, to go over to your page and see more properties. And if they know anybody that's looking to buy, they will send this or share it in their stories. So that's what we're trying to do. Of course, we wanna get this in front of someone that is actually looking to buy a home, in this case, Sherman Oaks. But right now we're gonna focus on just the entertainment part of it, retention. So we have master bedroom, master bath, and let's go into the kitchen. So we have kitchen, kitchen, and then we're gonna go to the backyard, backyard, and backyard. So as you can see, we have our pretty much our entire timeline. What I can do here, which I should have did in the beginning was put them all there, turn down the volume. We don't want any random noise in the back. And we're, now we're gonna start cutting. So what I like to do is once I find where I want to start, cut the beginning, and then where I'm going to edit or where I'm going to finish, we want to cut the end. Because this is where you're picking up the phone, getting in focus, and putting down the phone to move to your next shot. So always cut those out. Same thing here. Find the shot, clip, and end it there. Now we're going to move into the house. Same thing. We have living room and cut. Another living room where we're gonna start and we're gonna cut this. All right, this is a really nice home. It's right around like $3 million in Sherman Oaks. So same thing, now we're in the kitchen. Then we're gonna cut, boom. Now I do go into, we go over to like Brokers Opens and we get permission from the agent, of course. There it is, a wide. We get permission from the agent. We get to introduce ourselves to the agent. This way we're networking. We offer to tag them in the video. Now we're going into the hallway. We offer to tag them into the video as the listing agent. That's very important. Otherwise, you can't really use someone else's listing to promote it if it's not yours without their permission. All right, so hallway into master bedroom. Again, we're gonna skip all of the bedrooms because the goal here is to entertain, to keep your viewers entertained, to watch the entire video. We're not gonna focus on music or anything because we want to add what's trending, what style that fits your brand. Did I already do this? Hold on, let me see. So we're actually gonna remove this one out. We'll go here. Hallway, bedroom, master bath, and then we'll go into kitchen now. And back to what I was saying is we want to focus on uploading and using the music from Instagram. And that's just to, to have more reach because if it's a trending audio, chances are you're gonna give you more eyeballs onto your property tour, which at the end of the day, we really want. We want as many people to see these because if they're not the one that's gonna buy the property, at least they might share it. And it'll fall into the hands of someone that is one, wanting to be entertained and two, that actually wants to buy a house, in this case, Sherman Oaks. All right, so we got the property down to 32 seconds, which in my case is pretty good because um, the 30-second video is going to go like that. So next up, what we want to focus on is, let's see here, is your hook. <clears throat> so a hook is another option for the audience, the viewer, to actually want to watch the video. And in this case, it's a visual hook, property, um, location, condition, and price. <clears throat> In this case, we're gonna do mid-century style. In LA, you see a lot more of these. Uh, lately, I have been. It's very common out here. 
So to me, that's, that's still a hook for other people. Uh, I like these style of homes. So that's a hook right there. Then we move into the second part of the hook, which would be the location, Sherman Oaks. Now the way to make this stand out is what I'm gonna do is add a background right over here. We'll make this rounded. We'll add that right there. We'll actually make it smaller. So way it's not like right hovering over it. We want it to fit correctly. And then from there, we'll change the background of that into, let's just do white. Let's see. Just like reversing everything. Okay, so we have that. And now we're going to add one more, which would be, let's just put for sale. Normally I could put a price. Let's just say what the price would be, 3 million. Nine 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 zero zero zero. Let's just say that. And then same thing I would do here is make that a little bit smaller, and then we reverse that. Here we're gonna change the actual boom. There it is. So we'll change the font. So as you can see, it's all a little bit different. It it makes it a stand out a little bit more, at least in my in my opinion. So from there, we want to shrink that, height be a little lower, and width, there you go. Same thing we'll change is the pricing part of it. Let's go to the font. Uh, same thing we'll do is concise. So pretty cool here. So now we have Sherman Oaks, mid-century style, and then the price. So that would be a hook. I mean, you can change all of this into like red, different colors, all you want. But the whole purpose right here is we're showing best of the best of the house. And we're keeping it pretty simple so that the person is just viewing the home. Now, as a creator, it's really simple as wanting to um, make all these transitions, do all these certain things. But realistically, you got to make it to be easy for the person to consume. Because if they're walking the house to potentially buy it, they don't need any extra, you know, effects here in their transition. So that would be my two cents. But this is how I put together a edit on CapCut for my property tours. I go once a week. We shoot about four to six property tours throughout Los Angeles. And then I just disperse them to the agents that I work with so that they can promote them. And it's like having a listing agent gets to have all these agents Go out there like a little army and promote the listing to bring a buyer so that they can sell the home quicker, look like the top producing agent, and then get more listings. This way, you also get leads. You also get a potential client so that you can make some money, change your life, feed your family. I hope this helps you guys. I'll see you on the next property edit.